All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, it's our Craft Chest here, and we have an unboxing video. And if the volume's a little bit low, how's the volume there, Gun Toad? I have special guest Gun Toad in the background. Oh, sounds good to me. All right, so hopefully you'll be able to get the same sound quality both from the GoPro Hero and we're local recording right over here to give you a couple of different perspective shots, and hopefully this right here uh, is going to come out nice and awesome like i think it will all right but first of all we got our package in from down for sound shop and i want everybody to have a look at this box here because i'm not trolling i'm not complaining but i am but the box inside the box you can very clearly see that this thing was shoved inside this priority mailbox now i don't know if they have a little larger priority mailbox to where we don't have to do this but that's just raw amp y'all just will slap the priority mail sticker on the amp itself and uh yeah call it a day because this is clearly shoved in there now that said i will say this if the post office hadn't screwed up the package actually shipped out uh thursday night i'm wanting to say and saturday morning it was out for delivery i didn't get it until today and today is tuesday which is sunday monday tuesday three days later i understand it was a tropical storm and all that good stuff happening but that was actually uh kind of concerning to me being that we have down for sound plastered all over this box and i know shameless self-promotion but who's to say that tom or philbert or leroy out there uh, didn't see this and go, hey, if I just tuck this to the side and they forget about it and put a claim in on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's what was the case was, but it's mighty funny that I called the post office and less what gun towed an hour later, I guess. About an hour later, here it is sitting on my doorstep. Just kind of funny how that uh, happened to happen. Now, let's go ahead and show you a couple of other goodies that I have going on here. And this is going to be good for the close-up on the camera right here in front. This is a new concepts uh, top post battery terminal that I chose right here. It was uh, roughly about $44 on Amazon. And the reason why I picked this one out is this is gonna be uh, awesome for my usage. It's got a zero gauge, a four gauge, and an eight gauge output right here. Top post terminal here and a top post adapter here for your OEM to go in here. and I don't know how well it's gonna work, but New Concepts actually says that inside of here, if you can see that little brass piece that's going on in here, they say that you could add a 3 8 ring adapter for zero gauge in that little slot right there. Now, we're gonna to have to test that out. I actually have already in a previous video, which I may or may not splice in here because that video seems to be kind of ganky because it keeps on wanting to render out at 23 minutes for some reason, and that's just kind of weird to me why it's wanting to do that all right but we're going to kick this to the side there's the top post here's the adapter by the way if you want to have a look at that um i'm really impressed with this one more look at this this thing is beefy and chunky that is like a chunk of metal right there and i don't know i'm sure it's a nickel alloy that they're using on that uh, with brass inserts right here maybe a copper nickel uh mixture but that's the top post terminals right there let's kick that to the side for a moment and then I had a battery. I may actually splice in a little look at this, but you can look at the pictures. It works. I already tested it out. But here's a voltmeter for us to pay attention to uh, voltage readings off the entire system, the excess battery, um, voltage, and what have you right here. Very simple design. It's got the, uh, the lockdown uh, nut back here. Here's a little plate that it's going to actually sit on right here. All right. As you can see. And you can turn it whatever way you want uh, you can turn it narrow ways you know i know a lot of them a lot of pictures show you well if i can hold on to it show you uh, long ways but you could actually do it like this mount it like this or like this it doesn't matter wires don't care as long as they're getting power and ground you're good to go all right so there's that a little volt here's something that i got to help us out with um the top post terminal adapter and splitter that I have. This is zero gauge to four gauge, which we'll eventually be adding. I'm actually gonna try both ways 
and see if I can get uh, different readings on it and see if I could tell without a meter because I'm not all fancy like High Five Vega and EXO and Williston Audio Labs and all those guys. I don't have all the, the $10,000 equipment to do this, but maybe one day we'll get one of those SMD fancy Nancy things like maybe, what's that dude's name? De Chili? Parker De Chili? Maybe like that guy right there. And then, lastly, this is what I've been waiting on right here. This is our Crescendo amp, and hopefully it's not damaged. Hopefully the inside of it is gonna look good. And let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened up right here. Once again, if I'm doing the GoPro shot and you guys see some funky floor, forgive it. It's not nasty, just I might have to redo the wood floor because of the historic floods from the neighbors uh, flooding the house earlier. And it's actually rather embarrassing. And if you hadn't noticed, then I called attention to it and it's my fault, so whatever. But here we go. Oh yeah, look at this nice and glued I do have to say I like the glue on that if you saw that peel off right there uh, here's some dunnage going on here some dunnage what is this oh that's the the four gauge wire that I ordered I was like what is this big ass cable going on I'm just gonna drop everything in the chair over here more dunnage on the sides okay so they they packed it with dunnage at least for a little extra padding and dunnage is pretty good I see there's a uh, little lollipop sucker dum-dum in here I don't know what the dum-dums are all about I missed the message on why they put dum-dums in their package. I don't know. Why Why does? Why do they do that? I don't know. Is it like a Pokemon got to collect them all? I don't know. And then here is the blue and clear, positive and negative is how I'm going to use it, um, four gauge wire that we're going to be using on the actual amplifier itself. Got four feet of each. It looks like they may have actually given me a couple extra feet on this because all I ordered was four and four. That looks like more than four feet. I don't know. Doesn't it? Or am I tripping? I don't know. I might have to measure this out and get back with you on that. I'll post that on uh, Das Tweets. And then finally, looking down inside this box via the GoPro Hero. There it is right there. Can you see down inside the box? Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. Let's pull it out. Oh, yeah. Let's pull this out. And hopefully I see more dunnage in the bottom. And I do. Looks let's look down inside the bus. Get up close and personal with the GoPro. Oh uh, yeah, there's some dunnage. Of course we have these little goodies inside of here. What is this? Just one more sub, I promise. Hey, look, I got a special sticker here. Uh just one more sub, I promise. Down for soundshop.com. So that's a different sticker. That I have been getting. Here's the invoice and some more advertising going on there. Once again, we're going to drop that to the side. And at least it was bottom and capped with dunnage. But man, that is a tight fit. Look down inside this box, how it just, I mean, that looks like a hangar bay for Elite Dangerous right there. It kind of does, actually. Look at that. You know, let me, yeah. That looks just like a hangar bay for Elite Dangerous. All right, let's throw that back here because that doesn't matter. Here's what matters right here. Let me give y'all a nice shot. This is a right side shot. Back over to the front camera here. What? Look at this. And I wonder, let me take the glare off of this. Yeah, let's take the glare off the overhead because there's plenty of light coming in from all the other angles. Oh yeah, Symphony S1 version two. It's not a headphone amplifier by no means, Gun Toad. And let's have a little peek at this. We'll have a peek from this angle. Trying to get the GoPro just right. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. I like the way it's packed, at least. This is what was concerning me with the package being like it was in that box. Uh, at least it is padded well and not just more cardboard or less like Audio Pipe does. Uh, they put hardly anything, if anything, in their boxes. That's one reason I have never bought one of those amps. But here, let's take the cap off. Let's take this out of here. And let's have a look at this beautiful, beautiful amp. Known for their, their beauty. Here it is in plastic. Let's take this plastic off. Is this? Oh, yeah. Before we look at that, let's look at this. Uh, here is the base knob. And let's have a look at this base knob. Because everybody always wants to critique base knobs. So let's look at this base knob. 
All right, this base knob has a power indicator level control, which is, oh yeah, very smooth. Yeah, that's nice and smooth on here. I like that. Yeah. And here's something that a lot of people want on their base knobs, which is a clip indicator. So you don't go clipping your amp. And this is nice. I kind of like that. That's good quality. Metal construction on it. Uh, looks like it's fold tacked together. There's the phone jack plug in right there. All right. Yeah. So that's a nice base remote right there. And let's put that up right here. Oh yeah, baby. I love it. Now let's let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's put this amp. Let's put this amp right here. Let's put this in here. And here's the owner's manual, by the way, if y'all. Let's go through the whole thing. Crescendo Symphony Owner's Manual. S1 V2 Plus S2 S4 S6. Let's say have universal owner's manuals for those. And man, look at this. So yeah, it's protected like that. So I don't see any damage to the actual amplifier, which is awesome. We're gonna move this out of the way and put this over here for just a moment. And let's look at this beautiful amplifier. Oh yeah, look at the, the compact size of it. The dimensions of it I do not have memorized, but I'm gonna have to actually look up at this. Let me, uh, yeah, there we go. How's that? Let me push my GoPro up for the center of field here. So we can get a couple of shots, but as you can see the heat sinks on the side here from that shot And we're actually going to look at this on the front camera Here are the power and ground remote four gauge terminals inputs and I believe if I read correctly um, This is either eight or ten gauge inputs for the speaker. It kind of looks like eight gauge to me and on the let's look at this let's compare it to the top post terminal block and we can get an idea so yeah eight gauge uh terminals for that looks like it may actually be a little oversized eight gauge for your speaker terminals out this is a mono block amplifier which means it does not matter which one of these terminals you actually use uh, for your speaker outputs just a positive and negative it doesn't matter and here is the other side here's something else a lot of people um, love on these amplifiers. I am another person that really loves these on amplifiers this is the Tiffany style RCA jacks. Just a lot better quality as far as RCA jacks are concerned and most of them and I'm not gonna open this up. I'm not gonna give you a gut shot in this video. That's just an unboxing video. Uh, most of them have the individual wire coming off the back of them. Most of them. Not all but most. And then finally, being that this is the S1 version 2 straight bass amplifier, this one is going to have your gain, subsonic filter, uh, low pass, 35 to 250 hertz, and your bass boost, which for the most part, most people uh, leave that off. Now, I will tell you, I have used this, but only a tick mark. And I mean, maybe plus three on here, but this goes from zero to 90. Or is that zero to nine? I can't read. I can't. It's dark in front of me for some reason. Zero to nine dB on this one right here. And if I do anything, if anything, it'll just be a tick mark up like that. And you'll get a little close up. And that's like on my Punch 150 A2 outside. I do have mine ticked up a little bit. But I did that while I was having it metered at a shop for that uh, old school SPL challenge last year. It's the only reason why I ever did it. Um, me and a guy kind of tuned in the new head unit and all that good stuff for it. So there you go. Let's have a, a profile look at this both in front of me and I'll try to splice in some good shots from both angles here. Oh yeah, look at this. The Crescendo logo. This right here is a plate that's actually tacked down. And does this one have, yes it does, something else I want to point out. This one actually has the built-in fan on that side right there for blow through i like the venting let's point this out this is something that's very important especially down here where i live it does have the good venting in here oh look at the you can almost see the guts in there look at that oh yeah and here's the fan on this side depending on which side i uh i show you from gopro or front angle and you're also getting some good shots over here too if i put both of these together 
But let's have a look at it from the GoPro. This is my perspective right here. As we give you some nice little light shots. Symphony S1 V2. I don't know what else I can say about it. Beautiful amp. Beautiful amp. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. And it's nice and it's got weight to it. I will tell you that. Um, if I had to guess, four, maybe five pounds, I don't know, as the, the largemouth bass is concerned, maybe more than that. But that's at least, I don't know, shoot, that may be more than that. I need a scale. That's what I need to do. That's the next thing on my agenda is to get me like a 20 pound scale uh, for these types of things, maybe a hundred pound scale, something small, digital scale maybe, and weigh these things out. But it does have a little beef to it. I know the innards do. Uh oh, whoa, hold up, hold up. Whoa, what do I see here? What do I see here? Oh shit, son. I have damage. Oh, what is this? Uh oh. And this is not from me. Oh man, look at this. I see damage right there. What? Come on, guys. Oh, good thing I'm filming this. This is a live unboxing recording. Look, what is this? Y'all see that? That's clearly creased. Man, I didn't even look at the bottom that close. Wow, that's kind of jacked up. Oh, man. JP, what's up with the, the QC, baby? Look at that. That thing's all bent up here over the top. Wow. I'm going to need a new bottom plate there, JP. What's up? I ain't talking about JP from the Gods of Games either. I'm talking about JP from Down for Sound. Man, come on. I'm up here loving your products and your shipping times and everything else, but you can clearly see. Oh, man, that's, that's going to have to be replaced. That's going to have to be replaced. Oh, okay. But anyway, all right. Oh, man. Yeah, we got some damage, though. Yep. I mean, I don't see anything else. The rest of the amplifier looks like it's intact, but what would cause that? I don't even know. We're definitely going to have to definitely going to have to uh, report that for sure. Maybe get this replaced. Yep. I want some plexiglass for this, just for that being damaged like that. Make it happen, JP. Kappa. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Let's end this video here. One more shot, GoPro rear. And from the uh, XSplit VCAM forward right here, there's the Crescendo S1 version 2 unboxing. And another reason why I started doing unboxing videos, even if I don't post them, is to find things like this, because it's kind of hard to prove if you did it or not, unless you have proof. And then seeing that this is the digital video age where everybody's recording everything. I'm glad I did that. It's crafted a mind. Go out there and have some fun, everybody. Woo! Boom.